Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf on that channel and welcome to TaylorMade P790 against the brand new Pro 245. I've already done the 225 against the P790 and people enjoyed that one and also have been calling out for the new 245 against the P790 because we have had some updates in the 245, namely in a boatload more tungsten. Technology wise, very, very quickly in the P790, you've got that speed slot down the bottom that's been there for quite some time, generally speaking. If a manufacturer has something for quite some time, it generally works. We have speed foam inside that material, which is designed to quieten the old girl down. We do have a super springy face and also a shifted CG head, which means in the four iron say, when you need as much help getting the ball up in the air, the center of gravity is as low as it possibly can do to help the golf ball launch. But when you have, say, a pitching wedge in your hand and you have lots of loft and you don't need that center of gravity being so low, it shifts up the head slightly to try and give you a little bit more of a flighted shot and not have ballooning. In the 245, we have a chromoly construction. It's still forged, but chromoly. We have a, a boatload of tungsten. That's the big story in the 245 at 50 grams or so. In it, we still have the copper underlay, which is their version of a copper finish that goes around the entire head just underneath the finished coating to give it the unmistakable nothing feels like a Mizuno just a softer hit feeling and within half a degree they are both exactly the same lofted right that's all done let's go give these a hit let's start with the say p790 first let's go do the looks of feel and we're going to be doing the forgiveness testing and that's going to be the interesting right at the end of the video we'll be seeing which one is more forgiven than the other let's go get the simulator on Simulator is now on, I have the P790 in my hands. We are at Willow Crest Golf Club hole six. There's a par three of 179 yards. It is over water, it is over bunker. It is tight to the right hand side. In the real world, we are aimed straight at the pin obviously, but in the real world, I am aiming left. I am never messing around with this pin, but hey, it's YouTube. P790, so when it comes to the looks of the P790, we have a, well, I would say medium, but square top line. There's quite a, uh, with the i530, say a chamfered, say the um, Pro 245 is a bit more rounded. This is fairly square in its profile. Sole thickness, which is, I would say medium, again, fairly square profile, and again, blade lengths. This is player's distance iron. The whole idea of player's distance iron is to appeal to as many golfers as possible. So by making something really big or really Really small then effectively you could be alienating a certain amount of people of which obviously manufacturers don't want so they make something look fairly pleasing but not overly big or overly small offset wise down by the golf ball it's got a touch there but it's hardly anything right let's give this a hit into the green don't hit it right jay don't hit it right that's definitely not right well that was positive um <laughs> so gone so far left that's in the bunker oh that's missed it um that's definitely not right as you can see there path 0.6 me inside face 2.2 closed aka left uh four mil toes zero mil low so it was a really good uh, strike really good hit uh, 35 yards in the air 47 degrees descent angle so you can see if it actually hit a green it would absolutely have stopped feel wise that is a crisp hit that's a fairly good shot four mil toes zero mil low so it's a, it's a good uh, reference point and it's a fairly crisp pop i mean this has got speed foam in it however it'd be interesting to see how uh, it sounded if it didn't have speed foam in it again we won't know but uh, it's still a fairly crisp strike good strike on that one just uh, face fractionally left oh carbon my copy <laughs> slightly better face not quite so i mean that's stopping on the green of course it's fringe but it's stopping Path 0.9 from the inside face is one degree better or so, 1.3 closed. Uh, strike is very good, one mil toes, zero mil low. You can't complain with that one whatsoever. Um, and again, we're 182 yards, which is a decent hit, absolutely is. 35 and a half yards in the air and 47 and a half degrees descent angle. As you saw, that stopped. It's like working very, very well. Feel wise, yes, definitely a little bit crisper. Um, not saying that's good or bad, it's just a case. It feels just a touch crisper than what I'm definitely used to. Slightly towy possibly on that one, uh, but absolutely great, great shot, great result. You take that all day long, 180 yard par three, hit the green, you're winning. Club path 0.7 from the inside, face is basically 0.0. .0. Uh, we have a seven mil toe, three mil low. Yeah, I could feel it was slightly toey, but 36 yards in the air and 48 degrees descent angle. Can you really complain with that? 
absolutely not. The only thing that I personally don't like about it is the feel of it because I'm a blade player. So I automatically have a softer feeling impact noise. Go to any other golf club and of course it's going to feel a little bit more crisper or louder. And again, going to Pro 245 where that will be a little bit quieter, then yeah, that's the main difference between these two. Right, go give it another hit. Oh, we've gone left again. <laughs> that is the definite, I'm not going in that bunker. Instead, I like this bunker. Let's go in this bunker, shall we? Yep. That's a safer hit than the other one. Absolutely. Uh, 0.9 from the inside, 2.1 closed. Again, slightly toey, 9 mil toe, single digit miss still, but yeah, toey still. 36 yards in the air, 48 degrees ascent angle. So should that have hit the green, of which it didn't, um, it would have stopped. But again, I would still any day take that bunker than the other one every single time. So uh, looks wise again, it's what you like the look of. It's a player's distance iron. It is fairly aesthetically pleasing, but the feel is fractionally more crisper on the scale of crispness than some manufacturers. Let's go flick over to the Pro 245 now, see what difference there are in looks and feel. 245 in my hands now. Different color line, change the data sets. I think we've got a yellow one coming. 245 basically looks like the 241, their blade, but has been blown out everywhere. So top lines are slightly thinner than that of the P790, slightly more rounded, but just fractionally thinner. Sole thickness, again, I'd say it's gonna be small amounts, but it may be a fraction smaller than P790 and then blade lengths, yes. This has a slightly more compact look to it. Offset wise, do you know what? There's not much to tell between these two whatsoever, but let's go see how it feels off the face. Yep, definitely change the data sets, that's yellow. <laughs> that is a heck of a shot. God oh, dear me. <laughs> yeah, that was straight over the pin. Path 1.1 from the inside, face baby shut by 1.4 degrees, one mil low, two mil toe, just very, very good indeed. Feels different straight away. 37 yards in the air, 48.8 degrees ascent angle. You can't complain at all. It is absolutely just lovely. I am a blade player, so I'm looking for something softer. So I hit this and it is softer feeling because of that copper underlay, just gives a slightly duller, quieter impact noise. Go to the Pre-790 is a bit more crisper. So I'll always gravitate to something like this. Again, if this was louder, I'd gravitate to P790. It's just what I like. Doesn't mean anything to do with what you guys like. It's feel. Some guys care about it. Some guys don't care about it. If you don't care about it, just ignore what I'm saying but um, you can't complain at all to the performance on that one. That was hit right out the screws. That wasn't, that's bunker. Oh, that's going the wrong spot. That's of the toe and that's my fault. Not the golf clubs. <laughs> Point two across, so par for zero. Face was open by 1.1. And of course, there we are, 11 mil, double digit miss, uh, 34 yards in the air, 48 degrees ascent angle. So again, that will stop if I'd have hit the green, but my poor face control and poor strike basically meant that tight right hand, we should never be aiming for this pin. I mean, it's just ridiculous, but it's YouTube, why not? That wasn't actually a bad shot. It was just a case of this pin is so close to the right hand side of the green, but I could distinctly feel that that was toey. Um, the great thing with the player's distance category over say the game improvement category where it's all out distance, all out tech, is that you retain feedback of where you hit it on the face on these kind of golf clubs. As soon as you go too techy, as soon as you go too big, I, there are some game improvements out there, uh, irons guys, that I can hit and I can mishit them. I know I've mishit them, but I haven't got a clue where on the face that I've mishit them. Again, going to these things, you still retain that important feedback. For the guys that want to improve on their strike, right, let's do it again, see if we can do a better job. Slightly better job, still slightly toey, fractionally high, maybe two mil high, but again, can't complain. Wow. These work, they definitely work. Club path is zero, face is 0.4 shut. One mil high, four mil toe, yeah, I could feel that it was just a fraction. Uh, 34 yards in the air, 47 degrees ascent angle, 180 yards carry. I mean, it's just, it just works. They both just work. It's really difficult to be picking holes in which one's gonna work in a data set of 
not many. Uh, that's why I need to sort of turn this off. Well, we'll do. I'll hit this one more time, and then we'll turn on the uh, the screen off. We'll stick it onto the range. We'll whack it a load of times off of camera. You won't have to see that. I'm going to whack it a load of times to see which one wins. If there is a winner in performance and above all forgiveness, last one. I've done it again. As soon as I hit that, I thought, yeah, that's a fraction open. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's harsh. It really is harsh. So close to not missing the green. So club pass 0.4 from the inside, face is 0.7 open. That is it. Two mil low, zero mil toe. The ball just started fractionally off to the right and then just cut very small amounts. It is a tiny miss, but that pin is right on the right hand side of the green. Feel wise, yes, distinctly different in the 245. It's distinctly quieter. It's dis uh, distinctly lower pitch in its uh, impact noise. Pro, two, uh, Pro 2450 P79, P79 is crisper. And if that's something that you want, you want a little bit more of a louder, crisper contact, then of course P790 is for you. If you want something that's gonna be a fraction bigger in its uh, profile and it's a uh, real estate by, by the ball, P790 is for you. Again, if you want something a bit more shiny, a bit slightly smaller, compact looking, two, four, five. Right, let's go turn this off. Let's go whack these a load of times each. Let's go see which one works better when it comes to performance, but also more importantly, what happens when you don't hit the middle, which one works better in forgiveness. These players' distance irons are getting that good with the release of newer models as, as they come along. They're getting more forgiving, they're launching better, they're performing better, they look better. There's so many good things about the players' distance sector now. These could quite easily take over the game improvement irons. These are getting that good from forgiveness and performance. So we've got the all the data on the screen there now, you can see it. Um, I've got ball data first, let's go the P790, you've got 124.8 miles an hour, ball speed to 124.3. So there's a half a mile an hour increase of ball speed on the uh, P790 over the 245, it's half a mile an hour. I wouldn't, and this is at my normal speed. So again, if you swing slower than this, there will be a, it won't even be half a mile an hour, it might be 0.2 or 0.3, but there is a slight win. 0.3 of a mile now. Um, launching 18.4 to 18.8. So the 245, again, we are talking about within half a degree of loft difference between these two. There's no difference in loft. There is a slight gearing on the um, 245, wants to launch it fractionally higher. It is 0.4 of a degree, but it's, it's there. Um, you've got total spin, uh, 5,400 to 5,300. 95 RPM difference. Yep, and 181 yards to 180. One yard, that's it. Uh, 37 yards to 37 yards, no different. And 48.3 to 48.4. If you can pick apart that difference, there is effectively no difference. Uh, clubhead speed, we've got 90.8 to 91. So there is a 0.2 mile an hour increase in clubhead speed to get the same amount. So that effectively means we've got an efficiency of 1.38 to 1.37. So out of the middle, we are talking that the P790 has a fractionally faster face. Attack angles within 0.7 a degree, club path is within 0.6 a degree, uh, face is just over a degree uh, difference, 0 0.8 open to 0.4 closed, and 24.8 to 25.2 degrees of loft difference. That means you've got four mil toe, three mil low against one mil heel, one mil low, so a slightly marginally better strike on Pro 245 as well. But it is marginal, but it is there for all to see. Right, let's go see how they work from off center hits. But first of all, we need to find out how well they work from the middle. So we've got P790 here, we've got a two mil high, two mil toe. So within very small amounts, exactly. Middle, 1.39. So it is a fairly punchy face. We've got a fairly, class well, 0.7 closed. It's fairly close to the middle, but it's 0.7 closed. And 24 degrees, 23.9. If you put that up against a Pro 245, we've got 1.37. So there is a 0 0.02 difference in the face. So the P790 is faster. However, um, we have a 0.4 degree open to a 0.7 degree close. So the 245 has a slightly more open face. As long as you add um, an open face to a closed face, you'll get a difference in efficiency anyway. So obviously more of a glance in blow, you'll get a drop off. And obviously on the P790, we are talking 23.9 to 25.8. So there is two degrees aloft within 0.1, but there's two degrees aloft difference. I would still say this, that if you were to do the adjustment for the differences in loft, the P790 still will outperform a 245 
just for just pure springiness of, fa uh, of the face right out of the middle. So let's go have a look what happens without the heel. We've got 11 mil heel, three mil low on the uh, P790. We have 1.35 and we slightly close face, 0.8 degree close and 25.5 degrees aloft. You've got 11 mil heel, zero mil low. So a slightly better strike uh, on the 245, but only very small amounts. Uh, a face which is 0.7 degree open rather than 0.8 of a degree close and half a degree or so more loft. And the 245 is 1.37 to 1.35. So again, you'd say even with the slightly worse strike on the P790, everything else on the P790 says slightly lower loft, slightly closed face against the more, open, more loft and more open face of the 245. The 245 actually slightly wins 1.37 that hasn't lost anything from a uh, maxed out hit on the Pro 245, where you're losing a little bit on the P790. If you go low on the face, 10 mil low on the P790, this is with a 1.4 degree open face, so you have to keep that in mind, and 26.5 degrees of loft, 1.32, not bad whatsoever. If you then go to a 245, we have a face which is zero, so that's gonna gain a little bit of efficiency on that one straight away, and a 25 degree to a 26.5 uh, degree. So even though the strike is one millimeter worse on a 245, we have a 1.33 to 1.32, in essence, guys, if you do the calculation of adjusting this, adjusting that, they are both basically exactly the same from low hits. Go toe, 13 mil toe, three mil low to a P790. We have 1.36, face is zero, and loft is 24.8. From 13 mil toe, three mil low, so 16 mil gross. If you go 14 mil uh, gross, so 14 mil toe, zero mil low, Face is slightly closed to a um, face on the P790 with zero, so it is slightly closed. And 26.6 against 24.8, so there's nearly two degrees more loft on the P7 on the uh, 245 over the P790. So that would normally reduce uh, efficiency. 1.34 to 1.36, and there you go. That's the difference. Is because you've got a slightly more loft delivered on the 245, reducing the uh, efficiency. Remember, obviously, if you say just from those numbers there, the 1.36 is 0.03 away from perfect, and 1.34 is 0.03 away from perfect as well. But if you make the adjustment, then you would argue fractionally maybe that the 245 may be fractionally more helpful off the toe. But I keep on saying fractionally and I keep on saying marginally because they are both fractionally and marginally. They're so, so small differences. As a conclude, when it comes to forgiveness, I'd say possibly out of heel and toe, you are going to find, especially heel, maybe marginally toe, the 245 may do it in um, in forgiveness, but it's marginal. Low, there's no difference in uh, low strikes whatsoever. Middle, yes, the P790 does have a tendency to be a fraction more springy, possibly, but it's marginal again, out of the middle. But then obviously then that works against when you're talking about how it drops off from off center hits. There's a distinct look, uh, difference in looks. Obviously one looks like a P790 and it doesn't look anything like their bladed side of things, where the 245 looks exactly like their bladed side of things, but just fatter and so there's a different design ethos going between Mizuno and also tailor-made again when it comes to looks that's down to you guys of what you like down the lens and it's got nothing necessary to do what, what I like um, I'd prefer them chrome because I'm a chrome lover and so if one of them was chrome even though it's fat um, I'd still prefer it over the other one now when it comes to feel there is a distinct difference in feel between these two. The 245 in, nothing feels like a Mizuno, and copper underlay, yes, it does feel softer. The impact noise is quieter, etc. When you go to a P790, it is a crisper hit. That doesn't mean it's good or bad, it just means it's a crisper hit. If you like a little bit more of a confidence-inspiring crisper hit, then go P790. If you like your golf clubs to be more like blades and softer hits and stuff like that, then again, people perceive that as good and bad. When it's not, it's just what people like. And then go 245. Hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, go on, thumbs up. YouTube like, so do I. Down there is a subscribe button. It's the most important button for the channel. It's great if you could do so. Thank you. And next to that one is a bell icon. There's a notification bell. If you click that one, that will notify you next time. I upload another video. Hope you well. We'll see you again soon.